I'm Blanche and welcome to Feast in the Middle East where I make Middle Eastern and Mediterranean food that's fast, easy, delicious and with a modern twist. And seeing it is October, it is actually Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I wanted to feature a dish that was high in antioxidants and omega-3s. What I'm going to make is an almond crusted fish that's super popular with my entire family including my children, and it's so easy to make. Let's start with the breading for the fish. That's really simple. So for the breading, I decided to use antioxidant rich almond meal. It's just basically almonds that are ground up. If you don't have access to almond meal, you can make it yourself by putting almonds in a food processor and grinding till they're like crumbs, just like this. So I'm gonna put about a half a cup of almond meal in this bowl. And then I'm going to add to that some breadcrumbs. Now I grind my own breadcrumbs. I just put uh, leftover bread in the, in the food processor and grind them up just to make these breadcrumbs. So I have some whole wheat breadcrumbs here I'm gonna add. And then this is kind of different. Actually, this is almost sacrilegious in Italy. They don't mix cheese and seafood, but I really like the way this tastes. So whatever, I know Italians are gonna be, what is she doing? Oh well, this is, this is how I roll. So I'm gonna put a half of a cup of Parmesan cheese here into the mix. What's really important with this fish is to flavor every aspect of it. So when you pan fry it, it's ready to eat and delicious. And so what I'm gonna do is season this mix with a tiny bit of salt. I don't need much because the Parmesan cheese is salty. For some extra color and a little bit of smoky flavor, I'm gonna put some smoked paprika. I would say about a teaspoon is good. And then to give it a little bit of kick, garlic powder. I don't use regular garlic because I don't want the flavor of the garlic to overpower the fish. So I'm just using about a, a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of garlic powder. So I'm just gonna whisk, stir that all together so that it's nice and incorporated. Okay. And that's my breading for my fish. It's that easy. How long did that take? You could even prepare this in advance and put it in a, in a plastic container so you'd have it ready to go the next day. Now, we're going to be dipping our fish in egg batter, and I'm not just gonna use eggs. This is my little secret. So I'm gonna crack one egg here for the egg batter, and I'm going to squeeze the juice of one lemon in it. This is the next layer of flavor. I, wanna, I want flavor in every aspect of this fish. Be careful not to get the little lemon seeds in there. Okay, so we're gonna whisk this together. So after I'm whisking the egg, now we need the third component for the breading, and that's just plain flour. You could use gluten-free flour if you have a gluten sensitivity, but I'm just using regular flour. And that's what we've got now for the fish, the fish I'm really excited about. Now I'm kind of spoiled living here in California, but you might have the service near you. I actually get uh, fish delivered at a house nearby in my neighborhood, and I pick this up every Tuesday. It's from H&H &H Fresh Fish. So get this, the fishermen catch the fish that morning in Santa Cruz, and each week it's something different, something unique, like it could be salmon one week, rockfish another week, and it's so fresh. It's the most amazing fish you've ever had. Like I never buy store-bought again because I'm used to like, fish that's been caught that morning. So I have Dover sole. I have these beautiful white fillets which really work well in this recipe. You want a fillet that'll stand up to pan frying. So I've got this nice fillet here. So what you do is first you put it in the flour like this. Make sure it has enough flour on there. Then you dip it in the egg batter and then you put it in the breadcrumb mixture like this. And I love this dish because the, the Dover sole is chock full of omega-3s, which have been found to actually slow down the development of cancer in rats. And the, the almonds are full of antioxidants and selenium. I know that in Japan, it has the lowest rate of cancer in the world, and it just so happens their population eats an enormous amount of selenium. Almonds are full of selenium, so I figure if I eat kind of like the Japanese, I can't go wrong, right? So I'm just gonna be dousing this in the flour, then the egg batter, and then the breadcrumbs. So you just wanna repeat this process until it's nice and coated. Okay, there you go. Now to fry the fish, 
I used to use olive oil all the time and I love my olive oil, but I want an oil with an high, a high smoke point, meaning I don't want the oil to be splattering all over the place while I cook it and I don't want the uh, oil to be altered from heat. And there are two kinds of oil I use for this purpose. I use either avocado oil, which has a beautiful mild buttery flavor, or I use rice bran oil. Either are wonderful oils that you can use for cooking. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour some oil. You don't have to pour too much, like a couple tablespoons is good enough. And make sure that the fillets of fish that you use are nice and thin. That way you can cook them more quickly and it'll ensure a crispy exterior and a juicy interior. So make sure your fillets are nice and thin. Too thick, they don't get cooked properly. So I have my fillets here. I'm gonna just put them in this when it's heated up. There you go. I love to hear that sizzle. And only take a couple of minutes each side. Okay, so now we're gonna flip it over. You see how it's nice and golden brown on the outside? Making this fish, I actually think of a trip I took to Spain with about five girls when I graduated college. We decided to go to Malaga, Spain together. And all we did every night was eat seafood at midnight, party until five in the morning, top it off with a churros and chocolate, sleep, go to the beach and do the same thing for 14 straight days. And one night, I remember we went to this fancy Spanish restaurant that had almond crusted fish. And to this day, every time I eat this, I think of my trip to Spain with my girlfriends. All right, I think this is done. Now to do a finishing touch, I found these awesome lemon almonds from the local uh, Persian market that's a few blocks from my house. They're basically almonds that have been scented, uh, uh, actually broiled with lemon and salt. So they have a beautiful tangy flavor to top this with. So you, I could, you could top some with some almonds like this and squeeze a bit of lemon on top. Garnish it with some more lemons. And now I have to try this. So here we go. And you could even put this in a sandwich if you want something more hearty. Mmm. This is so incredible. How long did that take to make? About 15 minutes. This is a great work night recipe. You could serve it with a salad and a piece of crusty bread and you're all set and how healthy it is. Tons of antioxidants, omega-3s. Thank you for joining me here on Feast in the Middle East. If you wanna see more recipes like this, go to feastinthemiddleeast.com. Go to Facebook, I have tons of recipe ideas and great photos of the food that I'm making on a constant basis. And I love your feedback. So if you tried this dish and you loved it, please let me know. I'd love to hear how it worked for you. Until next time, sahtim. So hard talking with your mouth full. <laughs> so here's the deal. These spicy garbanzo beans have a lot more protein, a lot more fiber, so you're eating them while watching the game. You're actually gonna get full. Okay. So you gotta get your <laughs> Yeah, go ahead, it's for you, man. Mmm. You like them? Yeah. It makes me want 